quite understand what it is that compels me to type this letter. Perhaps it is to leave some vague reason for the actions I have recently performed. I don't really understand myself these days. I am supposed to be an average, reasonable, and intelligent young man. However, lately, I can't recall when it started, I have been a victim of many unusual and irrational thoughts. These thoughts constantly recur and it requires a tremendous mental effort to concentrate on useful and progressive tasks. In March, when my parents made a physical break, I noticed a great deal of stress. I consulted a Dr. Cockrum at the University Health Center and asked them to recommend someone that I could consult with about some psychiatric disorders I felt I had. I talked with a doctor once for about two hours and tried to convey to him my fears that I felt come overwhelming violent impulses. One session I never saw the doctor again, and since then I have been fighting my mental turmoil alone, seemingly to no avail. After my death, I wish that an autopsy would be performed on me to see if there is any visible physical disorder. I have had some tremendous headaches in the past and have consumed two large bottles of Excedrin in the past three months. It was after much thought that I decided to kill my wife, Kathy, tonight after I pick her up from work at the telephone company. I love her dearly, and she has been as fine a wife to me as any man could ever hope to have. I cannot rationally pinpoint any specific reason for doing this. I don't know whether it is selfishness, or if I don't want her to have to face the embarrassment my actions would surely cause her. At this time, though, the prominent reason in my mind is that I truly do not consider this world worth living in. I am prepared to die, and I do not want to leave her to suffer alone in it. I intend to kill her as painlessly as possible. Can I help you, sir? No, thank you. I know where I'm going. Okay, sir. Have a nice day. life also. I don't think the poor woman has ever enjoyed life as she is entitled to. She was a simple young woman who married a very possessive and dominating man. All my life as a boy until I ran away from home to join the Marine Corps. My life insurance policy is valid. Please see that all the worthless checks I wrote this weekend are made good. Please pay off my debts. I am 25 years old and have been financially independent. Hey Charles, how's it going? Hey, hey guys, come on in. Thanks, so what's new Charles? I've just been relaxing. Charles. Amy's the prettiest girl in our college. Whatever you say, pal. Well fine then. Who do you think is pretty?
there's a madman in the tower of the Texas University. At this time, we do not know who it is, but we know that he can reach the courtyard and the street. There has been an unknown amount of fatalities, and police are on the situation. Please, do not go to the Texas University. We will keep you informed. Alright, maybe if I zigzag across the courtyard going straight, we can get to the, uh... Gosh, uh... Uh, do you mean the wall in the middle of the courtyard? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Alright, when should we go? When he reloads after five shots, we can count them off. Just get Houston and Ramiro down here. Alright, that's fair. I'm ready when you are. Damn, he's quick. Officer McCoy, looks like we had the same idea. Yeah, let's go in from the back, but let's fucking hurry. Right. I'll go up first. No, I will. Stay behind me, Martinez. Why, you? Oh. 